Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today, we're reading for December 25th and 26th, Wednesday and Thursday, for my Pisces. Hello, my Pisces. Well, you know, on Wednesday and Thursday, I use my Bradley Valentine Archangel Power Tarot cards. I have prayed, meditated, and infused the deck with Reiki energy, but remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest. Okay? Okay. So, the 26th is a new moon, a new moon, and it's also an eclipse. So that gives it a special oomph, and that energy will last a good six months. It also ends a lot of the energy that um, happened with the prior set of eclipse six months prior. Um, remember, full moon to new moon, you release. New moon to full moon, you request. So really strong time for you to get out there. If there's things you want, get out there and put that out to that universe. Higher power, guardian angel, spirit guide, your voice of, voice of the universe. I said that divine. Now, remember, I'm an intuitive channeler. What that means is that I open myself up to my higher power spirit and just let the message come through. So let's see what we have. All three cards are face down. There's nothing reversed. Okay, first card, the King of Raphael. Raphael is your energy along with Cancer and Pis uh, Scorpio energy, fluid energy, water energy, emotional energy. It's very, this is like, okay, this is, you know, this is coming out there and, and just, you know, this is, I, you know, okay, I'm going to say this is like being Father Christmas. This is, you know, if, I'm not saying that has to be your belief system. But this is a very positive, giving type of energy. This is connecting with others. This is giving and receiving. And this is just, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling like, um, you know, um, the Chris, you know, um, Chris, Charles Dickens Christmas um, Carol. And I think it was Christmas present. And again, I'm not trying to tell you to, you know, with Christmas. I'm not. It's just that this is a movie. And this is you know, being joyful and just giving to, you know, giving to those, you know, poor, rich, giving, just giving of spirit, okay? Very positive, very generous, very, feeling, feeling really great type of energy. So warm, generous, honorable, refined. Yes, it is safe to trust the ability to accomplish many things at once. Follow your creative passions. And I mean, the optimism is very really strong here. It's just, again, it's this, wow. I mean, it's just this total connection. Okay, next card here, the four of Raphael. And again, you know, it's like total optimism. And it's like, okay, this one's about seeking out per other possibilities. It's like anything is possible for you. These are like really extremely strong. If you're going to make some moves, make some decisions, these are some right now, um, this Wednesday, Thursday are some strong, strong, positive emotional energy changes or energy days for you. This new moon, you know, it, I mean, it's a new moon. It's in Capricorn itself. So if there's some things that you are needing in a, in a very material way, this is that time to put that out there. Okay. Real, I mean, really, I'm feeling really positive energy for you. So seek out other possibilities. Look for the magic in life. Be aware of your own emotions. Your next card, your last card is the King of Michael. Now, so it's always kind of like, okay, so here it is. Get out there. This is this, is this total, what do you want? What do you need? Just throw it out there. What, you know, it, give it to others. Now, and then we have the King of Michael. The King of Michael, Michael is air energy. It is Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, your thoughts, your news that you might hear, your Wi-Fi. So while we have this very um, exuberant, wonderful, anything is possible type of energy, then Michael comes here and says, King of Michael comes here and says, yes, but don't, don't lose sight that if, you know, you can't, you can't solve everybody's problems, you can't give away all your money. You, you know, you, you, you know, if you're going to be using your credit card, you're going to have to pay that credit card. So here comes a restraining hand on this exuberance to say, yes, be exuberant, be giving, be loving. All these possibilities are possible for you, but, but 
use some common sense too, okay? It was really, really, okay. So principled, rational, ambitious, respective. Wisdom and objectivity are important now. Stay in your integrity, a situation that calls for honest and open communication. Again, the, you know, this water energy, so, so giving, so flowing, so wow type of thing. But Michael, King of Michael, yes, but, okay? Don't get so overwhelmed with the giving that, you know, that when, it, when your credit card bills come in, you know, in January, you go, oh, what did I do? What did I do? Don't do that. You can still, you know, but keep, your, keep within your budget, maybe. But at the same time, you know, I love the four because this is like things open up for you too. Now, my Pisces, maybe this is, maybe you're one of the shyer Pisces. And again, this could be the time that you are out there. You are putting yourself out there. Um, so, you know, even though this could, you know, this is through a holiday weekend week, you, you know, this could still be a great opportunity for you to um, put yourself out there for that new job if that's what you're looking for. Okay? Okay. Common sense. Have some common sense. And remember, anything you charge now, you will have to pay for. Okay. Now, my Pisces, should you celebrate Christmas? I know I was talking about some Christmas movies and books there. You know, Charles Dickens, I should say. Um, book and a movie. Uh, but should you celebrate Christmas, let me wish you a Merry Christmas. If you don't, have a wonderful blessed day anyway, or days anyway. But if you enjoyed my reading, please remember to like, share, subscribe, and click on the bell. As always, my Pisces, know that you are loved and be blessed. Bye-bye.